So in this series of videos, we're going to debunk some of the top myths about the Big Bang. And I'm joined by my co-author on the recently released book, Battle of the Big Bang, the award-winning cosmologist, Niyash Afshordi. So in previous episodes, we've examined myths regarding things like who discovered the CMB and how the Big Bang got its name. Spoiler alert, neither of what you've been told. Okay, so let's go on to myth number three. Um, and that is the Big Bang represents the beginning of time. I mean, I've heard this over and over again. The Big Bang is a theory that says the universe had a beginning. But is that right? So as we, we talked about the history of the Big Bang, and uh, over the time we learned that the uh, universe was hotter, there was a cosmic microwave background. But all that tells us that the universe was much hotter and much denser at early times. Is that the beginning of time? And that's certainly one of the myths that you read in the textbook, that if you take um, our theory of general relativity seriously, then there was a, quote, singularity, a point of infinite density and infinite pressure, sat some time, and that's the beginning of time. But almost nobody believes that these days because we know that theory of general relativity is not a complete theory. It misses quantum mechanics. And almost everybody believes that if you add quantum mechanics, things look different when you reach those early moments, or maybe much even far before you reach those early moments, things are different. So the, the theory of the Big Bang, as we understand it now, and in fact, we did, we did a poll um, that maybe we can, we're going to get into in a bit. Uh, the, the theory of Big Bang, as, as most physicists now understand it, is that the universe was much hotter and denser at the early times, and we have good evidence for that. But if you go to very early times before that, where we can actually, we cannot observe things, then anything goes. Maybe universe lasts forever. Maybe it goes into cycles. Uh, maybe there is a beginning of time. Um, but really, the theory of Big Bang doesn't say anything about that. Right. So let's actually bring, bring the results of the, the poll up on screen here. So what we see is that overwhelmingly, 68% of the people that we surveyed, this was at a black hole conference. So it wasn't a cosmology conference, but it was black holes, which is a pretty adjacent uh, field, I mm -hmm. think. And 68% think that the phrase Big Bang should be interpreted as simply saying the universe evolved from a hot, dense state that says nothing about whether there was a beginning of time or not. So there might have been, there might not have been, and uh, different theories say different things. We go over some of these theories in, in our book. Yeah, check it out. And we go over you know, those theories that say it had a beginning and those that say it didn't. Uh, but obviously, at the moment, we don't know which is right. So really, yeah, we interpret Big Bang as simply expansion from a hot, dense state. So we shouldn't say that the Big Bang is a theory that says the universe had a beginning. And in fact, I want to go further and say we shouldn't even say that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, because obviously that makes sense if the universe had a beginning. But if it didn't have a beginning, then it's, well, I want to say it's at least 13.8 billion years old. And maybe that's, that's its actual age, but maybe it's older. Is that fair? Sounds good with me. Yeah. All right. So that was our third myth of the Big Bang. Um, if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments, and we'll see you next time as we bring you more myths of the Big Bang.